What's going on guys, Dom247 here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, password protect a folder. This will however not be the folder itself, it's going to be a disk image of the folder, but it will basically do the same thing. And if you don't understand, you'll understand in a minute. So here I have the folder I want to password protect. I already named it private. This is a folder I don't want my kids to get into, and it just has two photos in there that, um, that they shouldn't be seeing or looking at or uh, whatever. Just important files, anything like that. Just so you, you make a folder and you put your important items in it. And then in your applications, you want to go under Utilities and find Disk Utility. Looks like this. And you want to launch that. And this is very simple. You simply go File, New, and you want to go under Disk Image from Folder. And then you want to find your folder. I've already done this before, Desktop, and here is my folder, Private. You simply want to select it. And then the folder, not the uh, photos themselves or your content, just the folder, and you say Image. And now you're going to type in your name, and uh, I'm leaving it the same because uh, it, I, that's I already named it what I wanted it. And then you can say where you want to save it, but I, again, want to save it the same place because I just want to uh, password protect it. And then under your crypt encryption, you want to go under 128-bit uh, AES encryption which is recommended by Apple so this is just your basic encryption uh, for you know not like bank encryption or anything like that this is just your standard encryption so that people uh, have it a little harder to get in and then you hit save now it's going to prompt you to create a new password for your disk image this is exactly what we wanted this is a password protected folder so for uh, Lack of a better password, I'm just going to use 1234. And uh, as you can see, this is a very weak password. Of course, the more you add, the stronger the password gets. So I'll keep it with the weak password for explica explanation purposes. 1234. And you want to uncheck Remember Password in Keychain. Because if you don't, it's going to open like, like a random, like a normal folder. You want this to be password protected, so you don't want it to remember your password. So you hit OK going to create your disk image. You can see mine's already there. It's just finishing up, so there we go. And now you can close disk utility. Now, when you double click this, um, you can, I'll say show my password so that uh, you guys can see it. One, two, three, four. And again, don't check remember password and keychain because then it's basically uh, ruined what you're trying to do. Um, so you hit OK and it'll mount the disk uh, as if it were a flash drive and there you go, there you have your photos or uh, your content. So um, basically you, um, you can delete the, um, the original folder you had because this one is not password protected and if you want to do it so that um, I just ejected my disk image there, so that there's no trace at all of the files. Uh, and I'm not saying this to uh, to encourage anybody to do illegal activities and use this to hide your files, but um, simply uh, that they're really gone and that you can't easily uh, get back at them. Instead of emptying the trash, you will go Command. Uh, you right click and then you hit Command. Hold Command and it'll show you Secure Empty Trash. And you just do that. It takes much longer, so I'm not going to let it go through all of it. Well, maybe I will. It's not too long. So right now, it's just permanently destroying those photos. And the only way to get to them now is through this disk image, which is password protected. So that is how to uh, set up a password or a lock for a folder. Thanks, guys, for watching. Go ahead and subscribe and uh, check out my other videos. i got plenty of good content. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.